All right, so we got another song, and if you don't know the song's name, I'm gonna tell it to you, okay? The song's name is I'm Free, which was actually sung by The Who. So basically, what I was gonna say is that the song was from the album Tommy, and this was actually released in 1969. So, what happened during that time in 1969? Well, the singer Roger Daltrey, as I mentioned before, I don't need to repeat this again, even though I'll say it one more time, I'm not gonna repeat it ever again, all right? So basically, Roger Daltrey uh, had to wear an open shirt with, with, his, with his head long, with long hair. And if you are asking why Roger Daltrey is like that, well, I'm not gonna tell you the reason why, okay? Now, the reason why is that due to the actors like saying that, they probably want to say like, oh, you got to change your style. But please don't don't argue about why he had to wear this, you know? Now, this is like the kind of song I'm okay with. And for those of you who don't know like who who are the men, you can check it out. Because I'm not gonna do that do that thing ever again, okay? Okay. Let's start the song. I'm free. I'm free and freedom taste of reality. I'm free. If I told you what it takes to reach the highest high, you love to say nothing's that simple. But you told that you've been told many times before. I'm free, I'm free, yeah, taste of reality, mm -hmm. I'm free, I'm free, and freedom, taste of reality. I'm free, I'm free, and I'm waiting for you to follow me. How can we follow? How can we follow? Alright guys, there's actually some mistakes and errors, but if you think I did sing the chorus song a bit wrong, Wrongly, um, don't try to judge it because I don't think I'm really that good in singing it, this one as well. I'm good at singing like the other songs as well, but I think anyways, let's just go into the no another song. Which is Sally Simpson. If you don't know the song Sally Simpson, this character is actually from the Who movie, Tommy. Okay, so let's just sing the song, okay? It's not even Tommy's holiday camp, so we're just gonna ignore it because I think this is like gonna get too crazy okay and i think we can do tommy tommy's holiday camp as well in order to dedicate for keith moon because he actually did sing uh that song from the movie as well okay i'm just gonna give it a try if it's bad just please don't judge it okay okay Outside the house, Mr. Simpson announced that Sally couldn't go to the meeting. He went on cleaning his blue rice boat, and she went inside weeping. She got into the room and tears splashed the picture of the new messiah. She picked up the book of her father's life and threw it 
into onto the fire. She knew from the start, deep down in her heart, and she told me we're worlds apart. But her mother said, "Never mind, your part is what you have to be." The team of the seven come to me, and love will find a way. So Sally decided to ignore her dad and sneak out anyway. She spent all afternoon getting ready and decided to try to touch him. And maybe that she said he was free and talked to her the Saturday Sunday. She knew from the start deep down her heart that she and Tommy were worlds apart. But her mother said, never mind that you're part is what you'll be she arrived at six and the piece was singing to gospel music by nine group after group appeared on the stage and sally sat there crying and bitter news looking pretty as a picture right in the very front row and a dj wearing a laser with a badge ran on and said here we go the crowd went crazy as Tommy hit the stage. Little Sally lost the police boot, the crowd back in a rage. Soon the atmosphere was cooler as Tommy gave them a lesson. Sally just had to mean to love him. And she left on the room and she ran across the stage. To the spoiled figure and brush him on the face. Tommy will run around the, the beautiful man, her off the stage. But she knew from the start, deep down in her heart, and she told me what was a part. But her mother said, Never mind, your part is who you'll be. He, her cheek hit the chair, and blood trickled down, mingling her tears. Tommy carried on preaching and his voice filled Sally's ears. She caught her eye and had to try, but she couldn't see through the light. Her face was gashed and the ambulance man had to carry her in the night. The crowd went crazy as Tommy left the stage. Little Sally was lost for the prize of her touch and a gash across the veil. Sixteen teachers were put her by. Her dad said, didn't say I warn you. She got married to a rock musician she met in California. Tommy always uh, talks about the day the disciples went wild. Sally still carries a scar on her cheek to remind of his smile. She knew from the start, deep down in her heart, to sat that she and Tommy were a world to part. But her mother said, never mind your part, is what you would be. All right, so that's actually the end of the, first, the second song, Sally Simpson, okay? I'm so sorry my singing is not that great. Uh, just don't judge it by it, okay? Alright, so eventually, this is another song that Keith Moon actually sang. It wasn't Roger Daltrey at that time, but Roger Daltrey was actually on the drums when Keith Moon took over on stage. Okay, so this is like gonna get a little crazy. I'm so sorry about this. Oof, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. I'll do, I'll try my best with this one, with this song, okay? Okay, let's, let's just get started, okay? Good morning, campers. I'm your uncle Ernie, and you're welcome you to Tommy's holiday camp. The camp with the difference, never mind the weather. When you come to Tommy's, the holidays forever. The camp with the difference, never mind the weather. When you come to Tommy's, the holidays forever. Ha <laughs> ha! Welcome. 